Now we are going to see about the kingdom protesta. This kingdom includes Rizophytes. Then Dinoflagellates. Then Slime Mounts. Euglian Mounts. Protesta includes these groups and they are mostly aquatic, they are eukaryotic, hence they have nucleus and membrane bound organelles and they reproduce by both sexually and asexually by zygote formation and cell fusion. Now we are going to see about chrysophytes. This includes two things. One is diatom, another one is golden algae. Chrysophytes formed in fresh water. In fresh water, they will flow passively and most of them are photosynthetic. If you want to remember about diatoms, you have to remember soap box. Have you seen soap box? In soap box, two shells are connected. Like that, in this diatom also, their cell wall is connected and silica is embedded in that. Because of the silica, their cell wall is indestructible. So, large amount of cell wall are deposited in the soil and that is called diameter's earth. And that soil is used for polishing. and filtering syrups. Next is dinoflagellates. They are mostly marine and photosynthetic. The speciality in dinoflagellates is they appear in different colors like yellow, green, blue, brown and red because of the pigment present in their cell wall. Their cell wall has stiff cellulose plates on outer surface and they have two flagella, one is long, longitudinal and the other one is in the transverse plate. Very often red dinoflagellates multiply rapidly and they make the C appear red color. So see these are the red types. Uh, if the toxins are released more, it can cause harm to uh, small fishes in that sea. They can kill the fishes. Next is slime molds. S for S. These are saprophytic. They live on dead and decaying leaves and twigs. They, they will engulf organic materials. In suitable conditions, they aggregate and form plasmodium and in unsuitable conditions, they will differentiate to form spores. Now we are going to see about the euglenoids. Uh, majority of euglenoids found in fresh water and in stagnant waters. Instead of cell wall, they have a protein rich layer called pinnacle that makes them flexible. They have two flagella, one is short and another one is long. Uh, their mode of nutrition is so interesting. Uh, in presence of light, they are autotrophic and in absence of light, they are heterotrophic. So they are mixotrophic. Example, Euglena. Next is protozoans. They are mostly heterotrophic, CP4, parasit parasites and predators. They are categorized into four major things. The one is amoeboid protozoans, flagellated protozoans, ciliated protozoans and sporozoans. In amoeboid protozoans, for example, amoeba. In amoeboid protozoans, they contain pseudopodia that is also called false feet. They use that false feet to move and catch prey. Next is flagellated protozoans. In flagellated protozoans, the name itself indicates they have flagella. The parasitic form of flagellated protozoans causes diseases. For example, trypanosoma causes sleeping sickness. 
The next one is ciliated protozoans. Here also the name indicates cilia. They contain thousands of cilia and they have an opening called gullet. This cilia helps the food to go into that gullet. Then the sporozoans. Here also the name itself indicates they have spores in their life cycle. Thank you for watching. Visit us at needbook.in.